a lot more confident about his Excel skills, and that's just as well because he's been given his first assignment. The boss has asked him to complete the help desk roster for the next two weeks. One of the tools that can help a lot with this is the fill handle. The fill handle is located at the bottom right hand corner of the cell and when you hover over it you should get a small black cross. At its simplest, the fill handle allows us to quickly copy. Let's have a look. So I'm going to click and drag down to row 17 and release and it has copied my data for me. Fill handle can do some slightly cleverer things though as well. So I'm going to click on to B4 where I've got my record number and I actually want these to go R1001, R1002. Let's see what happens when I drag my fill handle. Now what has happened here is the fill handle has given us what's called a series. Where you have a combination of text and numbers, it automatically adds one to the numbers. Well, that is interesting. Let's see what happens with our dates. So I'm going to click on the first of the fifth. This time, however, instead of dragging, I'm going to try a shortcut. I'm going to double click my fill handle. So two quick clicks. How good was that? And again, we've got that series where it's adding one to each date, which is perfect. Let's see what happens with days of the week. So I've clicked on Monday. I'm again going to come to my fill handle, double click. Well, that is clever. And that will work with days of the week or months of the year. Now I've done each of those individually so that you can see how they work. But to show you how quick this could have been, I'm going to undo those last three changes. I'm going to select all three of these and then double click my fill handle. And you can see you don't even have to do them one at a time. Excellent. Now each of my help desk shifts is eight hours. So really I just want to copy that number eight down. Let's see what happens when we double click the fill handle. And there we go. So that's interesting. With dates, we get a series, but with numbers, we automatically get a copy. Now I need to number my shifts for the next two weeks, but I know that when I double click my one, I'm just gonna get a series of ones. However, Excel does actually give you options. Whenever you use the fill handle, you should see a little icon come up at the bottom. And if you hover over it, you'll see it's called autofill options. I'm going to click on the drop down arrow and you'll see it has done a copy, but you do have the option to do a fill series. Well, that's brilliant. I'm going to click on that and there you go. Now let's see what would happen with our options for our dates. So I'm going to come back to date here, double click, come and have a look at my options. And this time it has chosen fill series, but I could choose a copy. So if you need to do that, you have that with dates as well, or you could do something quite fun. So I could do fill weekdays or fill months, but I'd like to get back to my fill series. So quite a rich selection of options. The fill handle also allows you to do simple patterns. So for example, my cumulative hours, total hours on the help desk, is gonna go up in eights. If I just copy the 16, that's not gonna work. But if I select both the eight and the 16, so I tell Excel there's a pattern, and then double click, there we go, counting in eights. And Excel can do this for quite a range of fairly straightforward patterns. Let's look at a slightly more complex one. So I have my five help desk staff here. I'm gonna select all of them and again, double click and it has copied the whole group down. Now, one really exciting feature that was added in 2013, so this will only be available to 2013 and 16 users, is something called Flash Fill, which is an even more sophisticated pattern matcher. If you have a look here, I have registered his address, which is made up of his first name, a dot, his surname, and then the company name. Now, if I come and copy that down, it just copies it. 
but if I come to my auto fill options, you'll see there's an option to do flash fill. And when I click on that, it spots the pattern and automatically creates addresses for all my stuff. Wasn't that quick? Have a go at using the fill handle yourself.